Okay, those of you who are taking thesis seminar, we're going to do reflections a little bit differently uh, starting this week. I'm going to share in our Google Classroom under week six. I'll include uh, here momentarily the, uh, the weekly journal, but it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to all work on uh, completing this data collection schedule. You'll notice that each of your names are here along the bottom, so just find your name and go into your schedule. You'll notice that we've got seven weeks. Each of these weeks are a row, starting with row four through row 10. So here you'll find throughout the week, Monday through Sunday, you'll find a space where you can add any meetings that you plan to have, any data collection meetings. They can be informal or formal. Uh, but any time that you either schedule in advance or that you meet up with someone as it relates to your data collection, I would like for you to complete that information here. So you can include the person's name, for example, and maybe the title. If it's a teacher, a student, an administrator, director, and so on, uh, I would include just the basic information here in each of these cells according to the day of the week and the week that you happen to be in. Along the bottom you'll notice two columns, one called completed and another column called to do. So each week I, I will ask that you complete this information, things that you completed for the week, things that you plan to do, and this is where you can also include any reflection, any challenges that you're facing or anything that you would like for us to discuss or um, for an, our next tutoring session this is where I would like for you to complete it. So you're not going to be asked to upload anything to uh, Google Classroom as you've done in the past. The next six to seven weeks will be completing the schedule. Again, making sure that you have schedules with individuals here as stated here in your schedule and that you've listed things that you've completed and things to do for, for the, the next week. So each week you'll come in and update your schedule and update things that you completed for the week and things that you plan to do. Now let's say that you have a scheduled appointment with let's say a teacher for an interview the next week. Go ahead and include that in your schedule. So you don't have to include, in fact I wouldn't include just information for that particular week. If you have scheduled appointments for the following week, the point here is to update the schedule however far in advance that those meetings happen to be. That's fine. If things change, of course, that's fine. Just update your schedule as needed. And um, this will, I think, help organize your time and it, it will also uh, provide insight to me as to how you're organizing your time uh, for collecting the data for thesis seminar. So. I hope this helps. This is going to be, again, how we're going to conduct our uh, reflective journals, our reflections, completing this data collection. You will not be asked to upload anything to Google Classroom for the next seven weeks until break. And you'll be asked to update, again, the schedule here, update the completed column and the to-do column. If you do have any questions, uh, let me know. Do be aware that each of you has your own uh, schedule. Okay, so just make sure that the changes that you're making, you're, uh, you're in the correct schedule, that you're not inadvertently uh, changing someone else's schedule. And um, yeah, again, let me know if you have any issues uh, regarding the reflections that we're going to be doing now for the next uh, seven weeks.